Officials reporting gas prices across the Carolinas are on the rise. This after OPEC announced it's cutting production beginning next month. Our Austin Walker shows us there is no doubt you'll feel the impact of these higher prices at the pump, but there's a line of work already proceeding with caution here. <laughs> For this group of Uber drivers, once logged in on the app, it's a waiting game. You see, I just got a ride. We have lots of flights coming in, so it's a good time to sit and wait for a couple minutes. Waiting for the next request. It helps people get from point A to point B. They've traded in their desk for a dashboard, and instead of relying on office supplies, they're spending on gasoline. I spent over $300. Anywhere from $600 on upwards to $950 in the summertime. Their waiting game turning into a guessing game. We do not need the gas prices to go up. AAA Carolina is reporting gas prices are up in both North and South Carolina. This is typically the time of the year when we do see gas prices increase. Tiffany Wright with AAA Carolina saying the weather is warming up and summer travel is ramping up. But there's a change the gas companies didn't see coming. And then add to the surprise announcement by OPEC. OPEC announcing it's making production cuts to crude oil starting May lasting through the year. It's expected to cut a million barrels of oil a day. Let's take a look at the average gas price for across the Carolinas. Now, according to AAA, for one regular gallon of gas, that is coming in North Carolina at 347. And in South Carolina, that sits at 335. But these numbers are just a bit higher than this time last week. But still, both states are well below where they were this time last year. Wright says if the demand continues, prices will also climb. It's definitely going to affect our bottom line. So while their waiting game continues, they're also waiting to see how high these prices go. In Charlotte, Austin Walker, WCNC Charlotte.